Hi, I'm Aid from JNS Oakmere. Uh, today we're going to talk about disc locks. Uh, this one in particular, the Oxford Screamer XA7. It's got a built-in alarm system, uh, well, built-in siren basically, 110 decibels. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to unpackage it. We're going to show you how to activate it because the batteries that come with them now to, to prolong the life of the battery while it's in the packaging is sealed. So we need to take the wrapper off the battery, uh, put it back in, and then I'll show you how to fit it and how it works. Okay, so they come sealed up like this in the packet. We're just gonna open it up. Take the thing out. On the bottom of the packet, you'll have the instructions. You'll have an Allen key and you'll have three keys. Obviously one of these you're gonna put on the keys to your bike, the other two you're gonna put somewhere safe. Just get the packaging out of the way. Right. To get to the battery, what you have to do is put the key in and open it up, basically, by uh, turning the key and the, the, the shaft, the pin inside, will slide up, making this section here clear. The reason why you've got to do that is because the Allen key to get into the thing has to go where the pin would be if it was set. So you pop the Allen key in and you turn it anti-clockwise and this will undo the little grub screw at the back. So once we've done this, there it comes, there it is, little grub screw there, put that somewhere safe, don't lose it. Once we've done that, take the key out, press the top in, and that'll allow you then to take the cover off. Once the cover's off, You've got this shroud here and there's a clip here, a clip here and a clip at the back. Basically we want to pop this shroud off and we want to do that by just lifting the cover off here by gently easing over these shroud pieces here. A bit fiddly, needs three sets of hands but it's a good waterproof uh, cover. Once the shroud's off You've got your battery then, which is inside there. Just to speed things up, because we don't want it to get boring in this video, we've already took the plastic cover off, but basically there was a plastic cover over there to stop the battery going off. So once you've peeled the plastic cover off, battery back in, cover back over the top, making sure that the little black button there comes through the hole there, okay? If at any point you don't understand what we're doing or you want to ask any questions, please fire the questions across. Uh, we're here to help, you know what I mean? Any questions at all, if I've missed anything, which I probably have, fire the questions across, it's not a problem. Okay. The cover's got to go back on then. So slide it in at the back and over at the front. bit fiddly but there you go it clicks over once that's in place you're then going to have to insert the key turn it which is a clockwise motion and that will release the pin back up because obviously we need to put the grub screw back in so pop the grub screw back on the end of the allen key insert it into the back and screw it in and this is holding the cover over the top. So once you've got that all the way in, don't over tighten it, but you know, nip it up. That's it. So Allen key in a safe place then, that's that bit done. The next part we're gonna show you now is how to fit it onto the bike and how to arm it. Okay, so we've, um, we've took the, the film off the battery, we know that's all working now, we put it back together, we're now ready to put it over onto the bike. This particular one has a seven millimeter wide pin. So what we do need to check first of all is that it will fit our bike. Some people put them through these holes here. Um, whenever possible, I tend to go straight over and through these larger holes here. It just means that the, the disc is cover, covering as much of this gap as possible and it's harder to get anything in to try and pry it off. You know, pry it off. So 
I'll show you how to do it now. So key in, turn it so the pin pops out, then slide it over the disc. And as I say, I go all the way over the disc. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push with the key, the pin back in, turn anti-clockwise until it won't go anymore, and then out. Okay, rubber cap back on, and then press this button here. What that does is that sets the alarm, because you can put the disc lock on without the alarm by just simply putting the key in, turning it, and not pressing the button. But if you press the button, it, this particular one gives you 15 seconds, I think it is, to activate it by pressing the button. So as long as you do do that within that time set, then you're okay. You then have a bit of grace time while it sets itself. Um, but after that 15 seconds and you've set it, it should, it should really be armed. Then, if anybody uh, tries to tamper with the bike, push the bike away, um, and the disc lock is interrupted, it'll give a warning sign like that to let the person know that the bike has got a disc lock on an alarm disc lock. Hopefully that'll be enough for the, the, the wannabe sort of criminal to, to just forget about the bike, leave it alone. Um, but if they don't, if they continue to try and either attack this or wheel the bike away, it will go off. It's 110 decibels. And this will go off for 10 seconds. If after the 10 seconds, the people have gone, ran away, whatever, um, it, 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 it goes back into um, a silent mode. However, if it's attacked again, it will go off again. Just like that. You can stop this. I mean, it, it will only go off for 10 seconds, but you can stop it by putting the key in and taking the disc lock off. Obviously, that's going to stop the alarm. Um, and it will give you that warning as well before the alarm goes off. So that if you come to take the uh, disc lock off, you've got enough time in that warning spell to take it off without the siren going off. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but hopefully we've explained it uh, in enough detail. But if not, just ask away, ask the questions and we'll go into more detail. Or if you've got a different disc lock that you're having trouble with, again, ask away. We're here to help and uh, we'll give you as much help as we can. But this one is the Oxford Screamer, the XA7 Alarm. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed that, uh, the little demo on the Oxford Screamer. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe the JNS Accessories YouTube channel.